Hi, my name is Philip Bell. I'm the director of sales for Silent Yachts in North America. We're based out of Fort Lauderdale. We have a sales office there, and we have a, when the boats are delivered, they generally come in Fort Lauderdale. We we commission them with our team. Um, we will provide our fleet captain to train the owners and the captains um, on everything that is specific about our boats. Help them with uh, understanding how to use the boats and operate them in the most most efficient way. Um, and we'll really support the owners so that they get the most out of our boats. So I'm here to show you and walk you through our Silent 60 and explain some of the differences between this boat and the new ones that we're building now. So this is the Silent 60. Uh, it's the whole number one of our design. We have a few different changes that we've made to the new boats that we're launching and we can show you through those um, as we walk through. But the aft deck area is generally the same. We offer a hydraulic swim platform on the back. We now have a new um, electric silent tender that we offer that fits on the back there. Um, and there are options to have jet skis on board the aft of the two sugar scoops on the port and starboard side. So a neat feature about having the hydraulic swim platform is once it's lowered, you get access to the rear uh, which will allow you to slide um, surfboards in or sailing dinghies or kayaks in through hatches on the back. Um, and the vertical entrance to that same storage area is down here through the deck hatches. So you can either use that as toy storage for larger toys or you can use it for storing um, bags or cases of water or, or whatever you want. The doors and windows here on the back all slide open. So the idea is that when you're anchor, you can open everything up and have um, flow of, of air from the front to back. This particular version is called the Ford Master. So the front of the boat has a master cabin. There's another um, layout that's called the front exit, which gives you access from the back of the boat all the way through the salon and out to the, uh, the forward end of the boat. It was, a, it was a concept, um, we don't have it yet. We have some renderings here showing the so newer version I'm just saying of the boat. Now. So the Maybe interior is generally much more luxurious. Uh, you see you have the front exit here and it actually adds about 30% volume to and the uh, overall space in this, um, in this deck. The yeah, this, windows, these are actually blinds that are pulled down, but the windows are larger in this area. The whole deck height has been raised. So you see over here, underneath the dining table, um, there is a, a step up. So the new deck height is, is here. So generally a much higher, gives us much more storage space. It allows us to store all of the boat's batteries on this deck. And it gives you a much better viewpoint out of the out of the windows uh, this other rendering it's here is the aft view of the same end uh, and you can design the the boat there's there's almost endless options that you can have for colors and materials floors veneers countertops furniture um, and in designing this you'd work with our designers our in-house designers and our lead designer is Juliana, who's right here. Um, so you want to show us one of the cabins? Yes, sure. So this is the guest cabin. On the, on the new design, we have two single beds you can see here. They can slide and then it becomes a double bed. Also a huge storage on the side. We also added a new uh, uh, compartment here so on the side the design, with the um, raised deck you have a better ceiling uh, space so and also the wardrobe the comes uh, up into the ceiling so you have a full length uh, wardrobe so out the window here you can just see the new this is the prototype of the silent tender mm -hmm. this is an electric tender that we're now offering um, and it has a number of different layouts and different drive packages. You can have it as the, the outdrive or, or a jet as well. Mm -hmm. nice. 
Yes. You want to show, show us the uh, service yeah. area that's down here? Now? So, this, uh, on the uh, new design, we have a service well, area, like which you can see here on, on the river. We basically, going down the stairs here on the port side, you have here the, the washing machine and you can also have a dryer machine. Okay. So, this is the Ford VIP. Again, a lot's changed in this cabin. You can see the rendering of the of the um, the new bathroom there. We have some inlay panels in the shower, and we're working with some large print um, wallpapers. The uh, the window sections here have actually gotten a little bit bigger as well, so they're a little bit deeper. And also, we've removed some of the um, structural pillions. Um, because the whole structure of the boat has, has changed, so it can support that. The other difference is on, on the bed. Here they're running fore and aft on the newer version. Again, you see here, they are running athwart ships. So when you lie in the bed and you look out, you get to see basically an unobstructed window section, which is, again, a little deeper than this, and it's uh, about five foot uh, between the two pillars, so you can see straight out. Um, we can put some TVs at the foot of the bed on electric lifts. Uh, the beds in general are a little lower than they have been on this model. Mm -hmm. um, ceiling panels are higher. And you have choices over all of this. So the what you want to do with this wall, the trim around the bed, the backboard, the ceilings, the floors, cabinetry, everything can be can be mm -hmm. selected. Looks like it has lots of storage, like very nice wardrobe there. Yeah. Wow, pretty big. Yeah, and there's some some other drawer spaces that they use under, under the bed. Mm -hmm. Drop down um, storage under the mattress. Oh, nice. Some more build spaces that you can use under the floors as well. And some storage on the mm -hmm. side too. Yeah. Beautiful. Lots of storage. Yeah. Yeah, try to use every available mm -hmm. space. Um, so back up and over onto the other side. There's another cabin straight down and through. Okay, okay. We've been busy with hundreds of people each day. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, similar differences here. Um, these two renderings are actually of the master cabin. So this is the aft section of the master suite when you have the master cabin down on the starboard side. So this would be for the front exit version. And you can have the same area laid out with a, with a sofa or with some additional hanging space. You can have it set up with a, a, a desk, an office space. Really this, this whole sort of area can be can be customized. Nice. And the same with the other side, all of this has been raised up. Um, so it's a lot, uh, we just played with the design and tweaked it as much as we could. Um, bathroom on this side. So again, this is the layout when you have that forward master. So when this is set up as the front exit, which is generally the more popular layout option. Um, this would actually be the aft end of the master suite. Um, this model here is of the 62 Tridex. So this is, this is where most of the sales have been with, with this particular model. So it's basically the same boat as what we're on now, except we add a, a large flybridge. Um, technically it's two feet longer, but we generally just add that to the back of the boat. Um, to have a little bit more buoyancy and also um, the longer hull length makes the boat a little bit more efficient as well. This it shows what the bow of the boat looks like when you have the front exit version. If you see the, um, the forward seating area there. Um, and then this, this fly ridge is just an enormous space. Mm -hmm. Uh, downstairs into the forward master. Wow, that's a big cabin. Yeah, it's a big cabin. It's um, you have to keep on reminding yourself that you are on a sixty-foot boat. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of space here. Again, storage everywhere. There's drawers under the bed. 
large hanging closets on either side of the entrance door, a little office space on the side there. Um, this is the master cabin again on, on the front exit version. So this is down on the forward starboard hull. And then the renderings that we saw earlier on of the couch area and the hanging closets, that would be towards the aft of this room. So this is the bow side and that's aft. And this bed looks out onto all of those large uh, window sections. Um, with, the, with the Ford Master, you get a slightly larger bathroom. Um, you, great impact with those big hull side windows in this area. Uh, so each cabin has its own AC, its own climate control. Uh, you can, you can uh, spec the boat out with TVs in every cabin, Sono system, which will give you audio control for each cabin as well. Um, so walking around the front of the boat, this um, little seating area is generally one of the most popular areas on, on the boat that's here and it's the same on the, on the port side. Um, both of these window sections open. Nice wide walkways and the front of the boat because this is the forward master version you have this seating area on top of what is essentially the the ceiling or the roof of mm -hmm. the of the master cabin so when you have the front exit version this is a, a sunken area with l-shaped sofa and a seating area on the other side and then you have the door through the uh, through the center basically where the center window is there is where you would exit out mm -hmm. um, we can also install crew cabins on board the boat and the crew would be down through a hatch in the um, in the deck on the on the port side. Um, the boat, as far as solar panels um, and and power, we offer a couple of different drive packages: um, the E Power and the E Power Plus, being the two upgrades. Uh, solar panels is around 17 kilowatt peak um, input. We can have a 210 or 340 kilowatt electric motor and 200 to 286 uh, kilowatt battery pack. Mm -hmm. now, most people tend to go for the highest drive pack, which is if you're going to spec out the boat, then that's probably where you should be spending your money is, yeah. is getting the better batteries and, and, and more solar and, and things like that. Yeah, um, that's great. So that's, that's us. She's a beautiful boat. It is beautiful, gorgeous. And the best best thing is that, that they work. You know, pe people can go, the, the, the basic design parameters are 100 miles per day, completely sustainable indefinitely. So when you eliminate the need for fuel and all those constant services on, on the engines, it really starts to make yachting a little bit more palatable without the huge maintenance costs and the fuel bills. Uh, so up onto the flybridge, it's a smaller bridge than uh, we have on the Trident model. Um, oh, but it's a nice space here, you really uh, are in front of the, the solar panels so you get to see some of the technology in play. There are more solar panels on this roof and the roof also raises and lowers. So if you're doing longer crossings, transatlantics or something which um, a couple of our boats have done transatlantics quite, quite happily. Um, and you get in some uh, nastier weather, this can lower down and can really sort of secure this whole deck um, and navigate the boat from the inside. And the, these, again, these renderings show the, um, the newer versions of the boats that we're building. This is the open flybridge of the Tri-Deck. Um, and you can customize this area uh, again with a number of different features you can have the fixed tables or you can have it enclosed as the master suite which is which is this um, you can also have it enclosed as just an upper salon um, and we also have options for a 
uh, jacuzzi on this deck as well. Beautiful. This is where most people hang out. Yeah. It's easy to see why. You get the breeze here from here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and there's navigation from here? Yep, navigation equipment. We have bow and stern thruster. Um, this particular boat has a FLIR camera. Um, the boat, all the boats come with autopilot, chart plotters, GPS, the, the two navigation screens. Um, it's a, the boat as the base price technically can be, can be sailed and can be used at the base price. Most people tend to add a number of options to, to customize the boat. Mm -hmm. 